My name is Abby Butler and I teach uh, life sciences at Fisher Catholic in Lancaster, Ohio. This is my first year at Fisher, but this is my second year in the residency program. Without technology, I really don't think I could teach science the way I'd like dream to teach it because I use technology almost daily and I use it in small ways and then I use it in whole instruction at times. So with the small instruction, the students are able to use it at stations and they'll be applying their knowledge with sharing a graph or analyzing questions. Whole instruction, like we'll play Kahoot It or Quizlet Live and we can see direct response immediately. So before they leave the room, they'll know what they need to study, what they are struggling with and what they have mastered. And I will also know that and I'll use that to help instruct me throughout the lesson. So if I need to go back and reteach something, I know they're struggling with this specific topic and I can go back and reteach it. We started with cladograms last week. We did a whole group instruction of cladograms and then they're breaking up and doing smaller activities now. The different stations had different aspects of intensity with the technology. The most intense and the hardest station today was with the microscopes. One of the kids had an iPad and he was entering the data. They're able to share and, and use the information as a team. And I'm able to see how they're doing throughout the lesson rather than just at the end of the lesson. So it helps me to go back and reevaluate the information that I'm teaching them. It's really nice to have that technology to, to enhance the learning within the, the world of biology. The group with the jelly beans are learning a new technique um, to understand the diversity of animals. The dichotomous key is used commonly in science field and you're saying, okay, what is this tree? Well, I can physically see these characteristics, so let me use those characteristics to classify it. So with the jelly beans, they would start with a jelly bean and they'd say, okay, what color is this? And then they'd pick, is it A, B, C, or D, until they get to the common name. And once they get to the common name, they can obviously see that, okay, well that might be it, but it might not be. So they actually had to taste the jelly bean to figure out if they are correct or not. If they are wrong, they have to go back and reevaluate at what point did they become wrong. And so it gives them direct assessment of how they're doing. So introducing them that to the, with the jelly beans first makes them say, oh, this is kind of fun. I want to do this more. And so the next step they'll do tomorrow is with the leaf dichotomous key, and they'll figure out what their actual scientific name is based on what they see. My advice to other teachers with introducing technology in the classroom is to be patient. Do not overwhelm your students with the technology. Introduce one technology tool at a time. The most useful technology I use in the class would be the course management app, which I use on the iPads, and it helps to evaluate students' learning. And I also share documents with the students and the PowerPoints, so they essentially can see the whole classroom outside of the class.